Hello guys, welcome back to your favorite agricultural channel. There's a popular saying that whenever the use of a thing is not known, uh, an abuse is very, very inevitable. And that will lead me to, the, to, the, to this topic. Uh, and we are going to be looking at how uh, you can select the best type of irrigation for your farm. The factor you should consider before settling down for any type of irrigation. So uh, before I go into the topic, I want to share a story with us. Uh, one of my customers reached out to me a few months ago. He's a tomato farmer and he grows tomato all year round. So it's very, very understandable for, for him to use irrigation. So he reached out to some vendors and one of the vendors he reached out to convinced him to buy rain gun for his farm. So the vendor succeeded in convincing him and my client bought rain gun from this. Uh, from this from this guy so at the end of the day he used the ring gun on his farm and guess what happened my client lost 80 percent of the crop on his farm the ring gun destroyed like 80 percent population of the tomato plant it uprooted them injured them as in every everywhere was just in shambles the reason being that uh there's a mismatch Rain gun is not fit in in that aspect. And I usually tell people, rain gun is not meant for farming. It's not meant for agriculture. That will be another topic for, for, for another day. So let me just go into the point of today's topic. What are the factors you should consider before you settle down for any type of, uh, any type of irrigation? There are so many, three different type of irrigation system. And we have factors that you should consider before you settle down for any of them we have the sub, we have the surface irrigation or the flooding irrigation whereby you make water to just flow on the surface of the water or on the surface of the land that is number one the number two is we have the overhead whereby you deliver water from the sky you you deliver water from the sky in forms of uh, the the overhead, the overhead traveler or the sprinkling uh, system, overhead sprinkler. Uh, we also have um, the drip system. These are the major three different type of irrigation system. But you don't just settle for any of them without considering some factor. And these are the factors I'll be listing out now. Number one factor you have to consider is the availability of water, the source of water you want to use. Whether the water you want to use is uh, you have a stream flowing uh, close by to your farm. If you have a stream flowing close by to your farm, you can use the surface or the flooding uh, type of irrigation. Whereby you just open a channel and allow the water to come into your farm and flood your farm. After you are okay, then you block it back. That is that about that. That is the only factor you consider in that. Or you can use a pumping machine and pump water and do it on the surface one. So uh, the number two factor is the slope and the topography of your land. The slope and the topography of your land. Th that is the second factor you have to consider. The third factor you have to consider is the type of crop you are growing. The type of crop you are growing. The fourth factor you have to consider is the, the texture of the soil on your farm. If the texture on the, of the soil on your farm is sandy soil and you want to use sandy soil uh, have low water holding capacity and you have to use the, the flooding, the flooding uh, irrigation system, you will be causing more danger to your farm because it will be washed away. And that is one of the disadvantages of using the flooding system or the surface uh, system of irrigation. And another thing is that the type of crop you are planting. If your crop, the crop you are planting is, uh, you are planting maize, for example, you, ha you don't have problem to use the flooding system. It's very, very hooky. But that kind of flooding system, you cannot practice it in a plantation crop. For example, if you are, you are growing oil palm and you want to use flooding system, whereby the spacing is very, very wide. You will just flood the whole area with water. Or you want to use you, you want to use the overhead the overhead in in the plantation 
in, in, in an oil palm plantation. It will, be, it, will, it will not be possible. That is number one. And even if it is possible, the spacing is very wide. You will end up watering uh, the empty space. So in that, kind of, in that kind of situation, the best bet that will be for you is to use the drip irrigation, the ones that will deliver water at the base of each of the plants. You use a drip tape and you perforate them to deliver water. So those are the factors you have to consider. And also, when, the, when your source of water, maybe you are using a well, you don't have, uh, you, you want to conserve water because each of these, especially the overhead, the overhead sprinkler system and the, the flooding system waste a lot of water. They waste a lot of water. So if you are not using uh, free water, you are pumping water, that will not be the best to use for you. It's better for you to use, to use the drip uh, irrigation system. And another thing is that uh, whenever you are using uh, the sprinkler, you have to be very, very careful because uh, it promotes, it kind of promotes fungal infection or fungal disease on the farm. It promotes the transmission and the spread of fungal disease on the farm. Whenever your plants are carrying water on their body for too long, it tends to generate fungal diseases on the farm. So the best bet you can use is the drip irrigation. But it will be very, very uh, hard in a situation whereby you are a big time maize farmer and you want to run drip across 10 acres or 50 acres of maize farm. It will, be, it will, be, it will, it will not make any economic sense for you. So in that kind of situation, you can use uh, overhead, you can use sprinkler. But I will never advise you to use a rain gun. Rain gun is not meant for farming. It's a kind of uh, water delivery system that is meant for construction people. It is meant for people who want to wait uh, a lawn, who wants to wait for, who want to deliver water to football field. It doesn't deliver water uniformly, and it comes with the delivery of the water comes with force that will destroy the routine of your crop. And deliver water to the body of your plant where it's not needed. So with this, I think I've been able to convince you more and to shed light on this topic, and also to guide us not to make uh, a kind of mistake that we we'll regret at the long run. With this, I've come to the end of today's topic. And if you are watching for the first time, this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. So if this kind of content relates or resonates with your interest, kindly give it a like, share with your friend, and click on the subscribe button to have access to more of videos like this from this channel. Thank you for your time and see you on my next video. Shishi.